Hey, welcome back. All right, in today's short video, about 15 minutes or so, uh, is made so you can use as a reference with your website. You can watch the whole thing at once, go through every part of it. You can basically stop, record, rewind, pause, play. Uh, it's really at your leisure to learn as, as fast as you want, as slow as you want, but it's at your pace. So the first things we're going to learn about is what a page is. We're going to, we're going to actually create a page. Uh, I, I know you know this stuff, but we're going to create a page, and I'm going to show you a little trick there just to decide so you know where um, how to distinguish between a page that is published and one that's not. And then, of course, one that is published and now saved. So I'll show you that. We'll erase the page. You'll see. You'll see. It's pretty cool. Next thing we're going to talk about is uh, page navigation, because once you create a page uh, and you publish it, it's there's two steps to that. One of them is actually creating the page. The second step is placing it within the navigational structure within your website. And I'll show you how to do that and make submenus for that or drop downs as they call. And then of course, we'll get into the actual video page. I uh, reformatted it a little bit for you. You had six columns. I added three, I, put, I, I brought it down to three so you could see the differences between it, but you'll see that in the video. Um, and also what that does is it kind of auto resizes the actual images uh, for the YouTube videos that is. And uh, if this is, uh, hopefully this will answer all your questions. And if you're ready, let's go, ready? All right, see you soon. All right, we start off at the dashboard as usual. And one of the first things we do, as I often teach WordPress in the DV slash WordPress solutions theme builder, that is, is I usually, I usually work from two places. That's the dashboard and a fresh live site. So in order to do that, what we wanna do is open up a new tab with the fresh brand new site on it. And what we do there is we come over here to the actual name of the site, hover down to the visit site, right click, and then open with new tab. That'll bring this tab up here. So this is gonna be a live site here, in a sense. Um, you know, it's what the, if anybody goes to your .com, this is what they'll get, okay? So when you make changes, you can hover from your dashboard or your other side and then make the changes and you can actually see them here too. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a page. And the reason why I'm gonna make a page, brand new page, is to show you the difference between a published page and a saved page or an already a draft page or a published page. So we're just gonna name this ABC test page. Use Solutions Builder. Now this is gonna generate a page. All right, and if you remember how the pages are done in a sense or how they're assembled together, you have a header, a footer that's just down here, and then in between here, which is right here, the, the, the new page is asking you to insert something like a row. So we're just gonna put in, say, two here, all right? And we'll use an accordion, and again, this is just for giggles here, so I'm gonna quickly just add something in here. Let's see. Contact form, all right? So we have a contact form and a blurb, all right? So now my page is beautiful. I'm ready to publish it, okay? So first thing we do to publish is all these three little buttons down here, three little the purple with the three dots. Hit that plus sign, and this is the difference what I'm looking for here. This is a non-published nor saved draft, so it's a brand new page we haven't done anything to. If you want it published, which means the world can see it, okay? It may not be indexed on your site or, or attached to your navigation, but it's indexable. In other words, that Google, you could get to it if you actually searched for that particular page name, okay? Most likely, nobody's gonna search for it if it's not in this main navigation. But that being said, you get to use it as a live page, test it out, see how it runs kind of behind the scenes. And when you're ready, um, you can actually just add it to the navigation, which we'll show that to you in the last part of the video, so stay tuned. So if we save it as draft, it saves as a draft. If we don't like it or we wanna add something to, like say we just wanna make another section, we copy that, okay, we don't, we don't wanna save the draft, we actually wanna publish it. This is where it becomes very familiar. Once we hit the publish button, it now becomes, it gets rid of the draft button and now it becomes saved, which is exactly what you have on your video page. So the question you asked is how do you have a draft slash saved page? The page that you're working on with your videos is already a published page it's just being, every time you make a change to it, you're saving it as a live page. It's just not connected, like I said earlier, to your main navigation. All right, so we're gonna go to the dashboard. Go to here, gonna go to your pages. 
and it's an A page, so it should be the first one. And this is how you get rid of a page, just trash. Now it's gone. So now for the, for the cool work that we're going back to your questions here. The video gallery page, you want to edit with the solutions builder. All right, this will generate it back up like you normally would. And from here, you'll see that I've already done a few bits of work here. All right. Um, I'll show you. I'll get. I'll show you exactly how to build this in a second. So I'm going to get rid of this. You're probably thinking, no, don't get rid of it. I need it. But don't worry. I'm going to build it right in front of you. Now, originally, what you had uh, before I was working this earlier is you had six rows, or six columns with two rows. Okay, or two deep, I guess you could call them, because these are sections right here. Uh, if you hover over them, they're they're rows, right? Row settings, and these are modules. So what we want to do, if you, if you ever um, want to change the, the columns, the amount of columns, you just come over here to this little bars here, column structure. And then you can change them to two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth. This is what you originally had. You had six. Did that look familiar? All right, but we want to change that back to, say, three. I typically like three. It's my favorite there. Uh, but again, you can change it to whatever you like on this stuff. I like the three because it, it merely makes these somewhat big, but not too big. Uh, the, in other words, the person can actually see them on the website. Now, you may be thinking, well, what about the phone? So again, if you want to know what it looks like on the phone, you come over here to the three little dots, expand it out, and then these are the different views, your tablet and your phone. You'll notice that it, it renders really, really well here. The YouTube videos on this page, so it comes out really nice. So the main part that you'll be concerned about is what does it look like on a website? Because you know that the phone's going to look really well, no matter what. So this is cool. So what we want to do, again, if you want to copy these right here, once you get this working the way you want it, uh, my suggestion is say build you know, a section with a couple rows and a couple columns that you like. And then come over here to, here, to this part here where you can duplicate it. Duplicate the, the actual row. So now you have two rows, one row and two rows or sections, I guess you could call them. But now the neat thing is, is you can add, for example, if these were videos of Fluke, okay, and these were videos of Striped Bass, you know, that type of stuff. But, you know, instead of just adding all these in together and then the people kind of searching for them, going, what is what? what? I have to read every single one of these. You can really, um, you know, fine tune what the person is looking for by saying, I want Striped Bass, so on and so forth. So an easy way to do that is making rows. See how this is one row, and you have another row, right? So what now what you do is you come over here to the plus green button here. It's going to ask you, so you're going to add another row, insert a row, but you want to make it a single row. And you want to put text, so T-E-X-T. -T. It should be somewhat intuitive. Hit the text button, and this will add in text. Now, th to make a bolded large print thing, you just want to say put bass fishing, right? And come over here to header, make it a header, maybe bold it, right? And if you want to increase the size, you can do that too. Once you're finished with that, hit that. Now, the neat thing is, is when you hover over these, just like you do every other module and every other setting here, if you hover over them, you can actually grab them and move them. Now, I'm going to show you two ways to do that. All right, I'm going to scroll down. So what I want to do is put this right in between these two. Now, if you click and drag the plus sign, all right, you'll notice it follows, it follows you. Then it kind of gives you that little gray spot. See that? And you let go there, and it shows up. Okay, so now you have a header, or like a header for the videos below. But we need one up here too. So what we can do here is once you've got this the way you want it, just copy another one, come over this one, or whichever one you want. Simply come up here and move it. Yeah, so now you've got a header for what that is. Oh, jeez. This is what I want. Copy that. I copied the wrong one. <laughs> uh, so basically you take that and then drag that back down. So from right here, you basically just, as you copy this, you take that plus sign, drag this, 
down to gray sign is that gray spot and now you've got your heading for what these videos are about and another heading for what these videos are about again you always try to do the right christian thing and save your page bad joke there um, but once you're you're ready and you're through with this and you think this is set up the way you want it and you've got all your so in other words you've got all these six videos that you can go to your youtube channel and then just change the url and if you don't remember how to do that which i think you do but I'll just go over it real quick, hit the settings button, come over here to the YouTube file, settings button here, insert URL. This would be copied from you from up here at YouTube, right? You'd copy this from YouTube, not this one, whatever that YouTube URL is. And then once you paste it in here, this insert into post will be highlighted and you click that button and that'll, that would again make that, would change that video out. So once you get your videos all set, save this. Once you get your videos and your headings set, I'll leave this page the way it is. And of course you can change it, manipulate it. Uh, if you want, you can call me. We'll zoom, zoom over a call. We'll figure something out. If you need some more extra help, that's no problem. Come over here to the page and save it. And then what we can do is visual builder. All right. Now, now I've got this page here. Now this is a live page, okay? So in essence, this is what the page is called, okay? 299, I'm sorry, 2977 something. So if you copy this and put it into your URL somewhere else, in another one, if I control C or copy it, open up a new tab, paste it, it's gonna be that page. Okay? So it's live, but you can't see it with from your website because it's not here. The only person that can see that would be you who would have that this URL, all right? So how do we get, the question is, is how do we get that page put here, okay? And how we do that, go back to your dashboard, all right? And you scroll down to appearance, all right? And then under themes, widgets, menus, click on menus. Now there's the page that we just, the recent, most recent page that we added. So put a checkbox there. Now, when you add this, it's going to bring it right down to here below this part. All right. Now, if we save this, I'm going to show you a couple different things what happens here. You save it. Now you've got, this is your main navigation, all these. You come over here to your live page and then refresh. You'll see it gets added right there. Okay, that's not really, I don't know if you, how, where you want it, but that's one place to do that. Uh, if you go back here, say, I don't really want it there. I want to move it up. photo like just next to photo albums you can leave that save the page refresh now it's moved over okay now if you want to make it make it a drop down say of video album like you know photo albums video gallery you know that type of stuff you want to make this underneath this which is called a drop down very simple to do come over here to the the actual navigation structure when, it, when you get the, the actual cross, click on it, left click, and then drag. You'll notice these little, see those little um, dotted lines. It tells you where it's at. And then just where you want it, let go of your click. And now it's there. So now when somebody hovers over the photo album, the video gallery item will display. And then they can click on that. It brings you right to the page. Save it. Come over to live page. You'll notice this will go away. What will happen is this will... You know, that space that's here, these, these two contact in here will be right next to each other. And then this will have a small little um, arrow going down once we refresh. And the arrow going down that you'll see here basically means that there's something underneath it. You hover over it. There's the video page. Click on that. There's your video page. All right. So that's pretty much it. Uh, to resize the videos... Uh, you had asked the question, how do you resize the videos? As you can see, when we basically change the structure of the page, like these columns, when we go to, from like six, you know, if you went to eight, nine, these things would get smaller and smaller and smaller. The, the less column you have, the more larger the image will be. Um, so there you go. So if you want these bigger, in other words, to fit half the page, make it two, you know, instead of three, that type of stuff. If, if you want them a little smaller, you can make four, one, two, three, four. And then these will, four columns that is, and then they'll be smaller. 
course, you had six earlier, so that made them really tiny, so that type of stuff. But this seems to work out. This is my preferred thing. I like three personally, but uh, you can change them to whatever you'd like. I'll leave this page, like I said, set up. Um, this way you could use it. Just go from there. So if you do have any questions, give me a call, shoot me a text, and we'll uh, we'll get together again. All right. God bless. Take care, and we'll see you soon.